destroyed everything. Hey guys, today we're gonna to talk about two strategies I use that ended up helping me get my first junior level role as a developer when filling out job apps specifically. And you're saying, what's the, you know, what's strategy? What do you mean? Uh, all you have to do is fill them out and hope something happens, right? Uh, yes and no, but let me talk about what two things I did that I thought really helped me out in my job search. The first one was when I was filling out apps, I typically use LinkedIn or ZipRecruiter. Those are my, my two favorite locations to do so. But on ZipRecruiter, what happens sometimes is it relocates you to various other job search or job posting sites. One was Indeed. And I noticed that I, I lived in Los Angeles, if you didn't know that, which has a, you know, California in general, bustling tech and software community. Um, by, by no means not only one, but tons of jobs. But also, you know, 20 plus million people in California, tons of competition, right? And what I found was that when I'd fill out these jobs on Indeed, it will tell you how many people have applied for this specific position. And some of them were 300 applicants. Now, as a junior level developer with no CS degree, still working on their skill set, but confident enough that they can have a, you know, a, a junior front front end role, it's going to be really hard to beat out a lot of applicants. And it's not saying that you're a worse developer. I'm just saying on paper, it's going to be hard. You have to beat out 299 other people. That's a huge milestone to overcome. And what I was finding was that once I kind of uh, decided I was okay moving out of California and I applied to everywhere in the United States, it didn't matter if it was Alaska or Texas or Florida where I ended up. I'm very happy about it, by the way. Uh, but uh, I was open to it, right? And I found that when I was applying to some of these ones on Indeed now, that I was going up against five, 10 applicants tops, maybe 20. But, you know, 10 applicants, I feel like I can beat. I felt like you, I, I felt like my portfolio on these ones that are 10 are much more likely for me to succeed than it was for 300. And all I had to do was start opening up my job search to less uh, populated areas and states that have less developers, right? And that was one of my keys to success, I think, is that I was willing to go to a different state where, and also one thing to note, at least in my experience, was that for these junior level, like real junior level roles, I was getting offered $15,000 less in the interviews in California, which has a higher cost of living than uh, what I currently make as a developer in Florida, which has a lower cost of living and no state tax. And um, it, that was one thing I picked up as well. And part of the reason I think that they were able to kind of offer these low roles was one, they knew that you wanted it, right? They knew that they had, they had 290 other people applying for the job. And I had, I straight up had a recruiter when I started, um, when I countered offered on one of them, for about 10 grand more, uh, he said, nah, I'm just gonna go to the next guy. Straight up, just to that, I'm just gonna go to the next guy. And that was like, kind of confirmed the, the belief. Um, so that that's one strategy is if you can, and you're willing to, not everyone's willing to relocate their their whole life, right? I, I happen to be one of the people who was okay with that. And so I did, and it worked out very well for me. And I found that after the two initial weeks of me filling out apps, it took me about five to six in total, that from those two weeks, when I noticed this via Indeed, I started getting a lot more callbacks. And one of the things I, I did was on my resume, I, I put willing to relocate to uh, for great opportunities or for uh, exceptional opportunities, something like that, letting them know that I was aware, yes, I'm in LA, but I'm aware that you know this role is in Tampa, Florida, and I'm okay moving to for the job. And so this is one, one of the things I did to help make me stand out because it's easier to stand out amongst 10 applicants than it is 300. That's really what it came down to. And I am getting a nicer offer uh, because of that. Now, the other thing that I did was I only applied on the uh, on LinkedIn and um, ZipRecruiter uh, via the 24-hour period. So I would use the filters. Every single day, I'd be filling out job apps. Every single day, um, you know, 50 job apps, 100 job apps, however many came that were relevant to the search. But I would do it based on the 24 hour period. So if a job out came out in the last 24 hours, I filled it out. I never went back five days back, six days back, just every single day, it, whatever app came out in the last 24 hours, I fill out. Now, why are you doing that? Well, for one, you want one, you want your resume be, be the first one that they see, right? Because they want you to be the guy, right? The recruiter is looking for somebody and if your resume somewhat meets it and they talk with you, they devote some time, 
there you know you could be the guy that they hire now it goes back to the 300 thing right also is if you are applying for the 300 do you really think they're looking through 300 resumes chances are not they're looking for the first guy that seems semi-qualified for the role and they're going to dive in and it's up to you to show that as a junior developer a lot of times that you're eager and one way you can do that is to fill out apps immediately when they come out which is why i did it in 24 hour periods and th these two things i really think was one of the reasons i was able to you know in five weeks go from not a developer to a developer granted you have to have the skill set but when you're looking for work sometimes that's just as hard as gaining the skills to get your foot in the door right and applying out of state with less competition awarded me more money in my case and also um get, i think gave me a higher callbacks i, I noticed that when i did start uh, applying out of state i got more callbacks than i was getting for the two previous weeks uh, applying in LA because you know I'm dealing with so many more people and also when I filled it out that day as well I, I noticed that I was getting more callbacks because you're hitting the recruiters immediately right they put it up that day they see an app that day they're going to check it they're going to be on top of it because they don't have anybody that they're interested in yet because it just went up and you're showing that you're eager you're hungry and these are all things that you really need to communicate and sometimes you're going through recruiters but sometimes you're going through your, you know, the senior developer who put up the ad. So those are two tips that I use when I was looking for web developer jobs. I hope they help you out. I, I really do think they helped me out. Um, as always, guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to join our Facebook group, Code Tech and Caffeine. The link is in the description below. And if you want to support me, you can at patreon.com slash codenotorials360. I appreciate you all. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Hey, guys, thanks for watching the video. If you're interested in coding bootcamp check out devmountain.com where housing is included in your price of tuition and don't forget to like comment subscribe and share and support me on patreon i'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching